and get started, but feel free to continue eating and there's plenty. So if you want seconds, go back and get seconds. Um, I'd like to give a round of applause for Slick Back. That was a wonderful lunch. Thank you, Brian. All right, I'd like to um, call on some public officials here. David Johnson, Judge, would you like to say anything? I'm just glad to be here in the crowd chamber starting back. Thank you. Anybody else? Justin Cam. Glad to be here. Thank you, <laughs> Did I miss anybody? Okay. Are there any new members here? Oh, with Republic Services, right? Okay. Who are you with? I'm sorry, I haven't actually used on pilot. That's okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Moore. Um, we're just we're fixing this our mail health agency here. I'll have counseling. Okay. And we're having our previous ceremony on the train. Alright, great. Thank you for coming. You. Would you like to say anything, Co? I got it right. <laughs> he is the new middle school principal. Sorry, vocational school principal. Would you like to say anything, Adam? Anybody else? Did I miss anybody? Okay. All right. I'm going to call on uh, Sarah Stone, our vice president, to introduce our business um, third quarter chamber excellence award. All right. No, sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> Sarah is going to come. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <coughs> Go ahead, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to recognize the business in the spotlight from last time. It was Beef O'Brady's. Uh, Beef O'Brady's, uh, would you like to give a. Is he here? Trevor, would you like to say anything? Okay. I'm not a talker. I'm not either. Can you tell? <laughs> okay. Now, Sarah, come and do our program. Hi, everybody. So for today, today's program, we're going to have Jamie Evans, the director of rehab <laughs> services at Ohio County Healthcare, and Emily Heron. She's the family resource coordinator at the Ohio County Middle School. They're both involved with the Next Generation program, and they're both very committed to helping our younger generation, so please help me welcome them. All right, so we're with the Next Generation Leadership Program. Uh, I'm a senior at OCHS. Uh, my name is Clemmer Nicodemus. My name is Kevin Diaz Cruz, and I'm a senior too. My name is Emily Sisk, and I'm a junior. I'm Jamie Evans. I'm the director of rehab at Ohio County Healthcare. And I'm Emily Heron. Um, I'm the youth services coordinator at the middle school, but I'm also the chairman of the airport board, which is kind of the capacity that I'm helping with our next generation uh, leadership program. Again. Um, so we just kind of wanted to give an overview today and kind of share with you guys what. Woo, sorry. <laughs> what we have going on with our next generation leadership. Um, so OCDA presented to the chamber um, that we needed to develop a leadership program for our younger. Uh, for some of our younger generation. Uh, we loosely based it off of a program they had in Muhlenberg County uh, for their juniors and seniors, and they were a huge asset in helping us kind of develop the program and figure out what would work best for us and how we could, you know, go about um, getting it put together. So we formed a development committee. Uh, we used key individuals from the community to kind of figure out how we could launch this and, and how we could make it work for us in Ohio County. Um, the Chamber of Commerce has previously conducted uh, the leadership of Ohio County, um, so that was kind of designed for individuals who are in the working force, so we wanted something that would be more for students who are in high school. 
initially in that planning phase, we developed a budget. Um, and our goal was we were going to have individual businesses within the community sponsor each one of the students um, in, um, anonymously. But uh, later on down the program, the Chamber of Commerce stepped up along with Ohio Community Schools to sponsor the program. So uh, the businesses you see on the screen, that's just kind of representative to those of us that are on the committee. For the um, for the program, so we've got Oceda, we've got the airport, Ohio County Healthcare, uh, the amphitheater, which I guess that's Beaverdam Tourism, um, Ohio County Schools, Fuller Physical Therapy, First United Bank, and then Persimmons. So the goal of Next Generation Leadership is to build leadership skills into the future of Ohio County while enhancing county pride to inspire in the younger generation a desire to come back and do outstanding things in their future employment in their hometown, Ohio County. The application process. So we developed the application to mirror what um, is required for Governor Scholars. And the reason for that is it would make it one step closer and easier for those individuals who are juniors that will be applying for their senior year. We developed a scoring rubric and then the committee sat down and we all blindly scored the individuals. Um, our goal was to select 20 high school students uh, with 10 being from the junior and the senior class. So when we started this, we really didn't know if anyone would even apply or realize what the benefit of applying would be. But we had 67 applicants. Um, and it was a very fast-paced process because we wanted to start in August, but with school starting in August, we had to move pretty quick with that. So the application deadline was August 20th. We selected the individuals on August 23rd. We announced it on August 26th. And then that same week, on August 29th, we had our first session. So from now through April of 2020, well, the third Thursday of every month, this group will meet. Now, these are some of the application questions. We're not going to read over all of these. Um, you're going to notice that the GPA is listed, but that's not just what we look for. We, we wanted well-rounded individuals who were vested in our community, who wanted to come back and do great things here as well. Um, so we looked at, do they have advanced courses? You know, what honors do they have? Do they work? Do they volunteer? What are they involved in? What are they, their goals? Um, what do they like to do for fun? Why do they want to do Next Generation? Um, and also we wanted to hear what, what was weak about them. Um, I'm going to let the students um, talk a little bit about the application process, how they applied, and potentially say why they wanted to be a part of Next Generation. Can I take this off of here? Jason? Yeah, just be careful with where the cord is. Okay, we'll let you all come on. <laughs> so I actually um, applied and was accepted into the Governor Scholars Program last year in my junior year, and I attended the, uh, the program over the summer. Greatest five weeks of my life hands down it's an amazing experience and if you ever know anyone who has the chance to apply encourage them a lot to do so um, and this application that we did for the next generation was very similar I was able to use a lot of the responses I use for my governor scholars application to transfer into the next generation um, application and I really wanted to be part of next generation um, because while at GSB I really got a sense of pride for where I'm from and uh, through this Next Generation Leadership Program, we're able to <clears throat> look at our community and what makes our community ours and what makes our community um, significant compared to others. And I really wanted to be a part of that and continue to make our community great and a great place to live and a great place to uh, raise families. Hello, my name is Kevin Diaz Cruz. And one of the toughest parts of the application process for me was definitely the the goals. It, it, it asked me like, what what are my goals in life? And that 
I just looked at it. I'm like, what do I want to do in my life? And um, as you see, I'm first generation Mexican American. My parents, my dad is from. He came from poverty, and my goal is just to continue the education that he did not get, and while he was in Mexico. And I want to do that the cheapest way possible, the best way po possible. I want, I want to make both of my parents proud. And whenever I saw this program, I thought it was a great chance to see the community and see what I want to do, see how I can see, make this community better. And that's always what, been one of my goals, to help people, serve others, serve God. And I want to do that with also, also making my parents proud of what they couldn't do because the opportunity that they didn't get <clears throat> and I, I, I get the opportunity that they, that they don't have here in the United States. As a high school student, you're offered so many clubs and organizations to be a part of, and it's really difficult to know what to do. You're offered so many things, and when I first heard about this club, I was a little bit skeptical. You know, what was it about? Was it just another club to have as a check off on a resume or application? But the more that I heard about it, the more I realized it really was about the community. And um, as Emily and Jamie have talked about, it's about developing leaders in this community who may leave it at some time, but that they may come back and uh, make this county a stronger place. And I realized that this, uh, this program is about more than just us and uh, making us look good. It's about developing this county and making it better. Okay, so for our program schedule, just to kind of give you guys a rundown of the different sessions that we're going to be having. So like Jamie said earlier, uh, we're going to be meeting the third or fourth Thursday every month, and uh, there's going to be a different kind of topic or topics each month, each session that they meet. So for August, they talked about entrepreneurship, media, and marketing, um, and, and our goal is to have some guest speakers and different people and, and even different hosts for each one. Um, so it was held at the Hub, but they learned about different marketing skills. They also visited, uh, well, I guess we'll talk about that later, so I don't have to go into too much. But um, So they'll, they'll visit some different businesses and things like that each time. Um, September's is going to be out about transportation. So we're going to be um, doing some things out at the airport. They're going to get an aerial tour of the county, which I'm super excited about. Um, and then there's also going to be some different topics um, regarding other aspects of transportation uh, within, the, within the county and how that kind of incorporates into um, just our county as a whole, but also business and economics. Um, for October, they're going to get a, a good lesson on history of our county and tourism. November is going to be industrial business. December is going to be healthcare, so we're hoping to get lots of different aspects of healthcare and uh, for them to get to learn about that and how that looks here in uh, rural Kentucky. Uh, for January, it's going to be our government, so we're going to look at our local government and um, all the different aspects of that city and <coughs> county. Um, for February, it's going to be finance, so they'll probably be working with, uh, we'll be working with some banks and, and different things like that for our finance. For March, it's going to be agriculture. Obviously, that's a huge part of our community here in Ohio County, so we definitely want to get them to know and understand how that plays a role. And then for April, they're going to be learning about education. So not only are we going to be covering those topics on the month-to-month -month basis, but there are also going to be some um, trends that we're going to have each month. Um, we are going to educate and train um, this group on how to do grant writing. Um, also, they're going to be challenged with a community service project. And then a little bit later on, we're going to introduce um, the book that is required um, for this leadership course. So we're going to take a look back at the first session. So we went moving into this first day. We wanted to make it fun. Um, we didn't want it to be that they were coming to hang out with us and it was going to be boring. Um, and I did hear from a few parents that their kids were actually texting and saying, this is going to be really fun. I'm going to learn a lot. Uh, but the first day, um, we had breakfast, and we kind of introduced them to the program. We told them all what we had told you all so far and what to expect. Um, Trevor didn't realize whenever I contacted him about lunch that we were also going to ask him to speak. Um, when he brought lunch, we want real-life scenarios. We want good and bad on having a business in the county. We want to know what the challenges are. So we ask him questions about how it is to own and open Beef Brady's in Ohio County. 
Uh, Tiffany from Persimmons, she went over and trained the group on marketing concepts and educated them on different strategies with that. So then, they didn't know what was coming next, but they, had to, they, had, they were provided a challenge. Um, it was a commercial shoot and a radio ad. They were told this, they were divided into groups, they had 30 minutes to plan and then 30 minutes to do it, or 30 seconds, I'm sorry. Um, and then following that, we did a tour for uh, Likings Printing Shop um, and as well as the radio station. But we'll let them talk a little bit about the, the challenge. Uh, we want to keep them on their toes on uh, being able to do things on the spot. And so I'll let them go over that and then we'll sh actually show you their commercials and their radio ads. So the goal was to develop a commercial that would interest uh, peers that are our age. Because, as you know, me and our seniors are going to be graduating, and we want to try to continue this program next year. And we want to be able to reach out to people that are our age and explain to them uh, how amazing this program is. So we developed a radio ad, which was primarily for um, adults or parents or grandparents that listen to the radio and can encourage their children to be a part of it. And then we also uh, videotaped a commercial that was posted on Facebook, on Facebook, uh, that people could see who we really were. <clears throat> These are some photos from throughout the day. Um, our sessions were held at the Hub. If you haven't been there, there's some images of what that looks like. This is when we were touring Lichens printing. Um, what they actually did when we arrived there is they took a photo of the group and they pr printed those out for everyone to have. This is right before we went into the radio station of the Times News. Okay, so this will be one of the two commercials. Yeah. Okay. Remember, for all the next generation, generation is. So we're out here at the hub in Hartford, and we're, we're talking about like being leaders in Ohio County and stuff. And it's just a great place, you know. It's pretty cool, you know. I got friends. We're all good kids. You know, we're cool. Wait, 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 wait. Leadership is way more cool than that. Ready? We are leaders. Thanks to the Chamber of Commerce, we can promote growth, diversity, and leadership in our community. Who are we? We are So not only did they have the challenge, but it was neat to be able to see the groups come together. They learned about different leadership styles and then seeing that in action. So we also, they, as she said, they had a, a radio um, ad that they did with Jerry and um, we're just going to play it off my phone. These are played daily. Um, the bottom of the hour, I believe, is what he said. So you may hear these um, at some point. Hey, Allie, guess what? I'm going on a field trip with the Next Generation Leadership Program. Oh, cool. What is that? It's a select group of juniors and seniors who take field trips once a month around our county to expand our future horizons and leadership skills. What else does the program do? We also use these leadership skills to give back to our community and future generations of Ohio County. That's so cool. How can I get involved? Next year, watch for our announcements and application deadlines at Ohio County High School. Sponsored by the Ohio County Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> <laughs> we are the next generation. What does the next generation mean? Leaders. That's why we are part of the Next Generation Leadership Program through Ohio County High School, sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce. But what's your purpose? We, we have a mission. mission. Our mission is to promote growth. Leadership, positivity, diversity, Pride. and integrity within our county. We, we are, are the next generation. So along with the topics, we uh, we brought up that there's a book. Um, Muhlenberg, their group, um, is required to use a book to educate and train the students about a topic throughout the year. Uh, the book that was selected is How Full Is Your Bucket? Um, some of you may have read it. 
Uh, but the objective for us to include this was to read and implement the strategies from the book into next generation leadership members, discuss the impacts in their current educational related relationships, peers, and community. Identify means to implement into the community tours and site visits, as well as how to utilize long term in your educational and professional encounters. So, the theory behind the book is we each have an inv invisible bucket, and whether we add to that bucket or people take away from that bucket da daily can impact how you perform in your day to day lives. So the, the students have monthly assignments and challenges. So for example, we reviewed, we went, on, we went over the book, and then we challenged them to fill someone's bucket between now and the next session. We encourage them to snap pictures of bucket filling. So if they do something, can we snap a picture and then share that later on our social media? We actually have a local business that has agreed to also complete the task of the book. And then later on in the program, they're going to have a peer-to-peer -peer discussion with the leadership group so that they can um, explain how it positively impacted their workplace. And then the students will also be challenged to develop a project down the road, how they can implement this at the elementary age. So this is the next commercial that the other group did, and it kind of goes off of the bucket theme, so that's why we wanted to explain that first. This is Peggy the Pessimist. She hates when people are nice. Hey, Caitlin, that hair looks super cute today. Thanks, your hair looks really good. Oh, thank you. Guess what? Your hair's ugly. I hate that shirt. Oh. Aw, oh, hey, God. It's okay. I like both of your outfits today, and I think you look great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So <laughs> well, why are you being so nice? It's because I'm a part of the Next Generation Leadership Team, and I find it my responsibility to fill others' cups as well as my own. That's why we are meant to be leaders for the next generations to come. And Peggy, I think that you internally have a good heart, too. It's important to fill everyone's cup, even yours. Sponsored by the Ohio County Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> okay, so the next part that we wanted to share with you guys today is a little bit of a challenge to you all. So I know several people in this room right now are already involved in the Next Generation program and we're so appreciative of that. But for those of you who this may be your first time hearing about this or you have never heard of it and you're excited that we have a group and a program like this in Ohio County, we would love for you to get involved. Um, there are several ways that you can do that. Um, one of the ways is to provide a tour or an on-site visit. So during one of the sessions that we talked about earlier, um, if you think, hey, I would love for them to come tour my farm at Agriculture Day or whatever that may be, please let us know. Um, we would love to get our kids involved in as many um, businesses and community members um, as possible. Um, you can provide an educational speaking to the group, so maybe you don't have a specific business or place that you'd like for us to come tour, but you'd love to come and talk to the kids about one of those uh, topics, that would be great as well. Um, feel free to also to sponsor a meeting or sponsor an a, event or a meal. Um, like, like we said, we, have, we usually feed the kids every time we get them together. They're gone for an entire school day um, when they have their sessions once a month. So we have to feed them while they're gone. So um, if you would like to sponsor a meal or your business would like to sponsor a meal, please let us know. That would be appreciated as well. Um, and then also if you would like to utilize the group to assist with a future business event, um, to greet hosts if there's registration, things like that, um, that would be a great service opportunity for our kids. Then let us know about that as well. And if you guys have social media, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, we'll, you know, be keeping up with our uh, monthly meetings on there. You guys can see pictures and uh, know what we're we're up to every month. Uh, on Instagram, it's Next Generation OC, and Facebook, Next Generation. Hyphen Ohio County. All right, do you all have any questions, comments? All right. You did a very good job. Thank you.
Now I'm going to call on Donetta. She's going to recognize the third quarter chamber excellence award. First, I'm just going to give you a little background about the Excellence Award. The Ohio County Chamber wants to recognize its members for its success and contributions. Uh, the Chamber Excellence Award is a quarterly recognition represented to a member of the Chamber, either an individual or a business that demonstrates a continuing active interest in the well-being of the Chamber and Ohio County. Uh, the recipient will have met any or all of the criteria actively promotes and assists the chamber with its re uh, recruitment of new members, it attends chamber activities, participates in chamber activities and supports the organization and planning of the chamber events, pursues new opportunities for the chamber and, the, and Ohio County by demonstrating leadership and commitment to the well-being of the chamber and Ohio County. The quarterly uh, excellent award will be automatically nominees for the annual Chamber Member of the Year Award. So the third quarter uh, quarterly excellence award is Beef O'Brady's. Business Saturday. Joe Beth, would you care? <coughs> Thank you, Shannon. Mm -hmm. um, as we move into fall, it is never too early to start thinking about the holiday season, and our Small Business Saturday committee has started making plans for that. So if you would like to be involved with that, there is a sign up sheet in the back. We have a couple different options this year. We're going to try something new and try to get a map of the county with businesses that are participating and we're going to distribute that in the weeks leading up to small business saturday locally and hopefully regionally for people that are interested in it so if you are interested and your business is planning on participating there is a sign up sheet and you can just write in and we'll try to get your logo to have that put on the map that is distributed kind of a challenge to some people to see how many local businesses they can get in one day the other option is if you don't aren't necessarily going to be open like if you're a business that isn't open on Saturday you're a nonprofit you're a business that isn't open on that day or participating you can contribute something into some bags that we're going to be doing and the first 10 customers through the doors of participating businesses will receive a canvas bag that has the Chamber of Commerce logo on the side the shop Ohio County logo and that is just going to be full of lots of goodies from local <coughs> businesses so if you would like to contribute something to the bag there's also a sign-up list there, and we'll be moving towards that and collecting those items and stuffing those bags the committee will. So if you want to participate in one of those ways, we would love to have you on board for Small Business Saturday, which is <laughs> November 30th. So if um, we can have your commitment before October 28th, that way we can get the map distributed, um, and hopefully that will be something that we can use for years to come and get all the local businesses involved. Thank you. So we draw for the November Business in the Spotlight. Um, just so you know, the Business in the Spotlight will be recognized on the lunch show and on our Facebook page as well as our newsletter. So it will be Home Sweet Home. Kyle Martin. Right. And now we're going to draw for the door prize. Um, the gift has been provided by Persimmons. Thank you. Get your tickets out. Eight eight seven zero seven five. All right. We get her. Okay. Um, there's a box by the door. If y'all seen it, um, the senior center is collecting canned food donations to give to the elders, and they're collecting those through October 16th. So if you got any 
canned goods that you like to bring. And also there's a list of food items at Bob's IGA, is that right? Okay, and then there's also a box there as well. They would appreciate that. And be sure to drop in some money, extra change for the dollar, um, Dollars for Scholars, the scholarship fund back there. Uh, does anybody have anything else they'd like to say? or? Uh, Joe, Beth, when you were mentioning if uh, some companies might want to um, give things for the bag, uh, are you thinking uh, 250 items? It, it doesn't necessarily have to be. So there were a few businesses last year that actually did like gift certificates, and there was like one, they did like, I don't know, 10 or 15, and we just randomly, they were bringing them in the bag. So it does not have to be the same thing for every bag, just anything that you would like to give, because they're not going to the same people. So just whatever you would like to for, to go in the bag. And if you don't have like a promotional item or something, even a business card so that they're aware of chamber members involved in the community, it may just be a good way to get your name out there. Okay. Uh, Jeanette, just back, back on that, depending on how many businesses we actually have given bags to. We've got 10 businesses, and we're going to get 10 bags that we're going to get out. Yeah. Okay. So hope to see you all at our October meeting, which is what day? 15th? Somewhere there. <laughs> Bring a guest. And if you aren't a member and you'd like to be a member, there's applications on the back wall back there as well. Thank you all for coming and putting up with me.